Today we're going to be reviewing the Duroc T1s, tactile switch on the KBD67 R3. Nice acrylic blue there. And with that, let's get started on it. So I'm going to switch out this board. The heavy Q1. Oh, okay. Pop this in. And let's get going. Okay, so the test is done. Overall impressions of the Dark T1, it's got a really good tactility feeling to it, uh, meaning it, you feel a nice bump whenever you push down on a key. Uh, let me see if I could do a quick uh, zoom in of the actual switch here. All right, so let me actually Uh, show you what that will look like. Let me unplug. So that's the green switch right there. I have the U4T Bovis too, and they sound, I would say, pretty similar. Um, but the bump feel is a little bit different on the T1s versus the UT4. Uh, and that's simply because of the shape on the feet of the stem is a little bit more bumped. So you get a more rounded bump right away throughout the whole actuation on the U4T versus the T1. Um, and that's how I understand it to be the difference. And that is pretty much it. Overall, I like the Duroc T1. They're way, 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 way cheaper than the uh, Zelios tactiles. So if you're looking for something with high tactility, um, great feel, the sound is a little bit, I don't like the sounds of the tactile so much versus the linears. But if you're looking for something, you know, that will help you with your typing accuracy, I would definitely go for the tactile. It's a good, nice bump, so you know you're actually pushing down on the key or the button. And overall, I, I highly recommend it. 